Once upon a time, there was a really advanced city. Some would say even too advanced for its time. The legend says that one day the ocean swallowed the city and it was never seen again. This is the legend most of you have heard about, the legend of Atlantis. We still can't be sure whether Atlantis existed or not, but there are few former cities that lie under the ocean today. With that being said, let's start the list. We're starting our list with Dwarka, India. The mythical city of Dwarka was supposedly the ancient home of Lord Krishna and was once considered to be a myth. However, the ruins discovered in the mid-20s proved that this city wasn't just an Indian fairy tale. The ruins of the ancient city are located 130 feet beneath the ocean surface, confirming that Dwarka is one of the seven oldest cities of India. Marine scientists who explored the remains claimed that the site discovered on the water near the Gulf of Kambi could be over 9,000 years old. If this is true, then the ancient city of Dwarka predates the oldest known remains in the Indian subcontinent by more than 5,000 years. This would also mean that Dwarka was a thriving city before the Sumerian, Egyptian, and Chinese civilizations were even born. Number 2. Yanagani Pyramids, Japan the pyramids of Yanagani is certainly one of the most amazing sites in the world and one of the most mind-blowing underwater cities. First of all, it's very confusing how did the Egyptian mythological symbol of such size end up just next to the Japanese coast. Scientists are still debating whether the pyramids are man-made or were a natural occurrence, with both sides not providing enough evidence. The unusual formations were discovered in 1986 by Hikachiro Arataki, a director of the Yonaguni Cho Tourism Association. After he reported his findings shortly after, a group of scientists from the University of Ryukyu visited the formations. They confirmed that the pyramids are at least 10,000 years old, and this discovery soon shocked archaeologists from around the world and turned the Yonaguni monument into an instant tourist attraction. Number 3. Port Royal, Jamaica Once upon a time, Port Royal was one of the largest cities in the Caribbean and one of the most frequented places in Jamaica. The city was famous as a pirate hub of Jamaica and is the most sinful city in the world. As a port city, it was infamous for its gaudy display of wealth, hedonism, and loose morals. It was also one of the most popular overseas home ports for the Dutch and English sponsored privateers to spend their treasures in the Middle Age. In 1692, after the big earthquakes that hit Jamaica, Port Royal was swallowed by the ocean. Most of the residents died, and some people still claim that this was God's punishment for the most sinful city in the world, which today lies 40 feet underwater. Number 4. Baia, Italy Situated at the Gulf of Naples near the commune to the known as Bacoli, the city of Baia was the Las Vegas of ancient Rome. It was a luxurious hedonistic hub for centuries, especially towards the end of the Roman Republic. According to numerous historical sources, the city was famous for its hot spring and its bohemian status, attracting nobles from around the kingdom. But it was also one of the most corrupted cities in the empire. The largest part of the city submerged in the sea around the 8th century due to volcanic activity that raised the land. The city was sacked during the barbarian invasions, Muslim raiders, and in the 1500s it was completely abandoned due to a malaria epidemic. Today, most of the ancient city remains 20 feet below the surface and is a part of a submerged archaeological park. Number 5. Xicheng, China Xicheng, also known as the Lion City, was one of China's most popular tourist attractions. The city was founded during the rule of the Han Dynasty around 2000 years ago and was once the economic hub of the eastern province Zhejiang. However, the amazing architecture and intriguing status didn't save the city from the flooding in the 50s when the government decided to build a new hydroelectric power station. Today, all of the sculptures and buildings are around 130 feet underwater, and what's left of Xichang is a flooded city with a size roughly equal to 63 football fields. Recently, a dive company from Beijing has been exploring the ruins of the city and is planning to build a bridge across the lake which is expected to increase tourism and the popularity of China's forgotten sunken city. Number 6. Pablo Petri, Greece Halfway between the southern Laconia coast and Alafaniso Island, you can discover the majestic remains of Pavlo Petri. As the initial estimates showed that the city dates back to the early Mycenaean era. 
But soon after some further investigation, it was clear that the city was around during the Early Bronze Age and the Middle Minoan Age, which makes the city between 5 to 6,000 years old. In 2009, Pablo Petri became the first submerged town to be digitally surveyed in three dimensions by using sonar mapping techniques. Today, Pablo Petri is a popular tourist attraction and a part of the UNESCO Convention on the Protection of the Underwater Cultural Heritage. Number 7. Vila Rinho da Furna, Portugal Vila Rinho da Furna was one of the oldest villages in Portugal, before being sacrificed and flooded for the construction of a hydroelectric dam. The village that was inhabited since the Roman era was flooded in the 70s and indemnity fees were paid to the residents of the village. Interestingly, the fees paid to the residents were around 5 escudos per square meter, which is roughly the price of 5 sardines. Technically, the land left over still belonged to the descendants of the owners of the houses. But unfortunately for them, their property is useless as it's underwater most of the year. Number 8. Cura Venesta, Italy The city of Cura Venesta is located beneath Rezia Lake, near the border of Italy, Switzerland and Austria. The city was flooded after World War II when the construction of a dam went wrong. Today, the only thing left on the surface is a bell tower of what was once the biggest church in the town. If you're looking for a unique experience, visit the city in the winter when the lake freezes and you can literally walk to the tower knowing that there's an entire city below your feet. And that was our pick for the 8 most mind-blowing underwater cities around the world. Thumbs up if you liked the video or thumbs down if you don't agree with our list.